guys welcome back again to our laravel series today we're gonna learn something new so we will gonna learn how to create a controller and a model so let's go ahead and start it i have here my terminal open and my laravel app running in port 8000 so we will create now our first controller when creating a controller we'll just need the artisan command let's type here php artisan make colon then controller space your controller name so in our example we're gonna using the books controller from the previous uh, example so let's create books controller hit enter then controller created successfully so let's navigate so the, the newly created controller will, will will be stored under app http on controllers so there it is our new controller and now let's create a model almost the same command when creating controller php artisan make model and the model name in my case i'm gonna use the books so this books model should reference our table in our database okay so if you have a table named fruits then you should create a model named fruits also just to avoid complete confusion but you can make any model name as you want but in our case let's just uh, create a books so hit enter and model created successfully and let's go ahead and check that one so app models and books so there it is and now we've already created our model and controller so let's try to reference our controller to our views so let's just use our previous views that we created before from our previous uh, tutorial so let's go ahead in routes and web.php and let's find the books api or the books route so there it is as you can see i have a group route named books and inside of it i have the initial index and the dynamic route so as you can see we just return here a plain text in the callback function so what i'm gonna doing right now is instead of uh, manually entering this uh, function what I'm gonna do is get rid of this and I will create that function or move that function to our books controller so let's open up the controller under app HTTP controllers and books so here I'm gonna create a function that I'm gonna reference into the web route public function index you can make any function name as you want so let's return here return this plain all books from controller so hit save and let's reference this one the index function to our controller so here we're gonna need to pass the controller so books controller plus comma and then our function name that needs to be passed or reference so the index one so hit save and let's go ahead to our web browser and check if it's working so slash books books hit enter and there you go displaying all books from the controller so our controller is working with together with our views and let's try to make it page and reference that one because as you can see in our controller we just return a plain text so what if we return a view from our views page so we can do that one so let's create first the views and the resources resources views and here let's just create a folder so name books and inside of it i'm gonna create a new blade file so i'm gonna name it okay as all that blade that php 
hit enter and here I'm just gonna put a uh, regular HTML file and I'm just gonna say uh, displaying all books from this page and now let's assign this page to our controller so let's go back to the books controller and get rid of this one and instead replace it with the view so here let's call the all that play that php under books so to do that let's just declare the books uh, folder that all so this refers to the all that plays under books folder so let's go ahead and check this out refresh our browser and here displaying all books from you so it's working now so let's pass some data let's say for example we have the book title here so let's pass this title to our views here title so let's now access this one to our views so let's go ahead and copy and let's proceed to our views and underneath the h3 let's display the title book title and let's access the variable from our controller it is the name id title let's hit save and refresh the browser and there you go an awesome book so i think we're good now so let's review our books controller so that's how you create a simple controller and next let's create a crude based controller so this is helpful when we know that our app needs a crude or some pages needs crude operation so create read update and delete so let's create the controller for that but now let's just gonna delete this books controller let's delete this one and create the, con the books controller again using crude so i'm gonna take back the command there you go so php artisan make controller books controller and space let's just add a flag here so a resource flag then hit enter so created successfully so let's take a look on the books controller let's open this one there you go as you can see there's already a predefined functions first one the index so this one is used to display the listing of the resource so here we can display the all books and create we have the create function show the form for create a new resource so let's return the view for the book creation or book saving and we have the store function so this function will store a newly created resource in storage or in our database so in store we don't return a view so this is only a pure function or pure database saving and show this will display the specified resource and edit show the form for editing the specified resource so more likely a create form and update this one for the update and destroy this one for the deletion of our resource or our record and let's supply first the index so here let's let's return the view books that all title an awesome title hit save and let's check if it's still working so refresh and still working okay and let's try to create the create form return view books that create page so this create 
page is not yet uh, existing so let's create this one in our books and i'm gonna make the page create dash page dot play dot php so let's say for example we have a form here form so let's create another one so we will not do the saving right now so let's do that on the next video or on the future video okay let's go ahead and return step one oh we already did uh, let's check if it's working so refresh then what for example let's add a button here in our books all for example we have a link here so this will go to create page so let's create the route for that one so let's go ahead in the web.php and let's just remove this one we don't need that one so I'm just gonna copy and paste this one and create and this create route should point to the create page So the create function, let's return this one on the create also. So save and let's try. Let's rename this one. Where it is the older page? So we only define create, not create page. So refresh and click, and there you go. Our form is. Uh, now display oh I think we're good so right now we learn how to create a plane controller and a resource controller that's it guys so thanks for watching this video I hope you learned something new so if you like this video please subscribe to my channel so thank you guys and see you on the next video